Hi, this is Ramachandran from onlinemathforall.com. In this video, we are going to see how to solve some difficult problems on quadratic equations. Okay, so in this class, uh, we are going to see the problem uh, that we have on the board. That is, uh, if the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation ax square positive x positive c is equal to 0, is equal to sum of the squares of their reciprocals, uh, find the value of uh, b square over ac positive bc uh, over a square. So, this is the question we have. Okay, so let us uh, try to solve this problem. So, in the first step, what I am going to do is, I am just going to assume uh, alpha and beta are the two roots of the given quadratic equation ax square plus to bx plus to c is equal to 0. Okay, one second. So, I write let alpha and beta be the So, I assume alpha and beta are the two roots of the equation ax square plus to bx plus to c is equal to 0. So, before I start the given problem, uh, I just find two values uh, that is sum of the roots and uh, product of the roots. Since we have uh, assumed alpha and beta are the roots of the equation uh, ax square plus to bx plus to c is equal to 0, sum of the roots is nothing but uh, alpha positive beta. Since the given quadratic equation is a general form of a quadratic equation, so we have formula to find sum of the roots that is uh, negative b over a, that is coefficient of uh, x, negative coefficient of x by a coefficient of x square and for product of the roots, uh, we just have to multiply the two roots uh, alpha times beta. So, for this one also we have formula, so that is a constant term by coefficient of x square that is c over a. So, I got uh, these two values that is sum of the roots alpha plus beta that is equal to negative b over a and uh, product of the roots alpha beta that is uh, equal to c over a. So, here the students may have a question why we find these two values. Uh, so, there is a reason because uh, we are going to use these two values bit later in our problem. Ok, now uh, let uh, let us come back to our problem that is uh, ok, let us consider the given information. So, sum of the roots uh, is equal to sum of the squares of their reciprocal. So, sum of the roots uh, means we have to add the two roots that is uh, alpha positive beta. So, sum of that uh, reciprocal, uh, sum of the squares of the reciprocal. So, the reciprocal of the first root is uh, 1 over alpha, because the first root is alpha, the reciprocal is 1 over alpha, but we have to take square for this one. So, the second root is beta, reciprocal of that one is 1 over beta. So, for, uh, uh, for this one also we have to take square. So, sum of the squares of the reciprocal so, we have to add. So, sum of the roots is equal to sum of the squares of their reciprocal. So, that is what I have written here. So, the given information has been written here in terms of alpha and beta because we have assumed alpha and beta are the roots of the equation. In the next step, what we can, what we can do is alpha positive beta is equal to. So, if you take square for 1, it will be 1. If you take square for alpha, it will be 1 alpha square. If it takes square for 1, it will be 1. If it takes square for beta, it will be beta square. So, now uh, we have the step alpha plus to beta is equal to 1 over alpha square uh, plus 1 over beta square. Ok, let us continue the problem on our next page. So, alpha plus to beta is equal to 1 over alpha square positive 1 over beta square. So, on the right side, we have two different denominators, uh, I mean we have two fractions with uh, different denominators. So, to add these two fractions, what I am going to do is, I am just going to do cross multiplication. That is, I am going to multiply this beta square uh, by 1, alpha square by this 1 and then at the denominator, I am just going to multiply alpha square and beta square. So, when I do so, I will be getting alpha plus beta is equal to beta square because this 1 is uh, multiplied by beta square positive that one is multiplied by alpha square. So, we will have alpha square. Uh, the denominator we multiply alpha square and beta square. So, we get uh, alpha square beta square. So, in my next step what I am going to do is alpha positive beta is equal to alpha square positive beta square. 
sorry one second alpha square positive beta square uh, instead of writing beta square plus alpha square first we write alpha square then we write beta square and at the denominator we have alpha square beta square and they are multiplied since uh, when they are when the two terms are multiplied uh, instead of taking square separately for alpha and beta better we can take uh, whole square that is uh, alpha beta whole square okay uh, okay before uh, we proceed the next step uh, let us uh, remember the identity so that we have an algebra that is uh, a square pass to b square pass to 2ab is equal to a pass to the b the whole square so we all know this identity a square pass to b square pass to 2ab is equal to a pass to b the whole square in this identity i'm just going to make a little change that is i'm going to take negative 2ab on both sides so when i do so uh, on the left side pass to 2ab negative 2ab will get cancelled so we'll have a new identity for a square pass to b square that is equal to a pass to b the whole square negative 2ab so now i got this new identity for a square pass to b square in this identity now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to replace uh, a by alpha b by beta so if i do so instead of a square we'll have alpha square instead of b we have tried beta square on the right side we'll have alpha positive beta whole square negative 2 times alpha beta so now uh, uh, we have uh, alpha positive beta whole square negative 2 alpha beta for alpha square positive beta square so the same i am going to apply in our problem that is alpha positive beta is equal to alpha positive beta whole square negative 2 alpha beta over alpha beta whole square here the students may have a question so already we know the identity a square plus b square plus two ab is equal to a plus b the whole square so why uh, we make a little change and uh, get a new identity for a square b plus two b square and then the same we apply for alpha and beta uh, and then we got uh, for the we got alpha plus two beta whole square negative two alpha beta for alpha square beta square the same we have uh, plugged for alpha square plus two beta square in the problem so why are we doing these things because uh, already we got two values uh, on our previous page that is uh, for alpha plus two beta and alpha beta we got alpha plus two beta is equal to negative b over a and for alpha beta is equal to c over a so we know only these two values uh, so only th uh, those two values can be applied in our problem so in our problem uh, we must be having only the two terms alpha plus two beta and alpha times beta so uh, then only we will be able to apply the two values negative b over a c over a and uh, we don't have uh, i mean uh, we do not know uh, the values for alpha square plus beta square so that is why i have written alpha square beta plus squ beta square uh, in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta so that's the reason i got new identity for alpha square plus uh, beta square so when i use the uh, identity i am getting the two terms alpha plus beta and alpha beta so for alpha square plus beta square see in the last step uh, we have uh, only the terms alpha plus beta and alpha beta so for alpha plus beta we can apply uh, negative b over a for alpha times beta we can apply c over a okay uh, i'll do that uh, in my next page one second uh, just give me a moment So okay, now we have uh, uh, alpha plus beta. So instead of alpha plus beta, better we can uh, write um, negative b over a. For alpha plus beta whole square, we can write negative b over a whole square negative two alpha beta. Instead of alpha beta, better we can write uh, c over a. For uh, alpha beta whole square, we can write uh, c over a whole square. So negative b over a is equal to so if it x square for uh, negative it will become positive and if it x square for b over a it will be b square over a square negative c over a and if it x square for c over a it will be c square over a square since uh, the denominators uh, yeah for b square over a square we have denominator a square for two c over a we have denominator a 
if I have same denominator, uh, it will be a little bit easy to solve the problem. So since I need same denominator, I'm just going to multiply by a uh, here in 2c over a. So negative b over a is equal to b square over a square. 2c times a will be 2ac over a times a will be a square divided by c square over a square. So negative b over a is equal to b square negative 2ac over a square divided by c square over a square. So this a square and this a square will get cancelled. So in our next step, uh, we'll have uh, one second. So negative b, negative b over a is equal to b square negative two ac over c square. Now uh, just to get uh, rid of the denominators a and c square on both sides, I am just going to multiply by a c square on both sides. a c square times uh, b square negative 2 a c over c square. So here I have multiplied by a c square on both sides. So when I do so a a will get cancelled on the left side, c square c square will get cancelled on the right side. So c square times negative b will be negative b c square and a times b square will be b s a, b a b square and a times negative 2 a c will be negative 2 a square c. So this is the thing we have uh, in our last, last step. So the next step what I am going to do is I am just going to take um, uh, positive 2 a c positive b c square on both sides. I am sorry, I am taking positive 2 a square c, positive b c square, square. The same thing I am taking on the right side also. Positive 2 a square c, positive b c square on both sides. If I take so, I will be getting, um, I mean, uh, negative b c square, positive b c square will get cancelled on the left side. And negative 2 a square c, positive 2 a square c will get cancelled on the right side. So, we will have... Um, 2 a square c on the left side uh, on the right side a b square positive b c square so the next step what I am going to do is uh, I am just going to divide by a square c on both sides so uh, I have divided by a square c on both sides uh, next step what I am going to do is I am just going to take uh, this a square c denominator separately for uh, a b square separately for b c square ok I will sh show you in the next step and here a square c a square c will get cancelled so so we have only 2 on the left side so on the right side we have uh, b square I mean uh, a b square over a square c positive b c square over a square c so I have taken this a square c separately for a b square and also for b c square so next up what I am going to do is 2 is equal to a b square over a square can be written as a times a times c positive b c square can be written as b times c times c by a square c because here a a will get cancelled and c c will get cancelled so we get 2 is equal to uh, b square over a c positive b c over a square ok so the same thing can be written as b square over a c positive b c over a square is equal to 2. So now I got the value of uh, b square is over a c positive b is e over a square. So the value of this one is equal to 2. I hope now the students will be able to understand uh, how to do this problem. 
uh, because uh, most of the students uh, what they will do is uh, they will be trying to uh, find the two roots since in the question uh, uh, they are uh, saying the sum of the roots of the given quadratic equation is equal to sum of the squares of the reciprocal so some students uh, will be trying to find uh, the two roots for the given quadratic equation ax square plus 2 bx plus 2 c is equal to 0 but if they find the two roots uh, they will be getting like uh, negative uh, b plus 2 or negative square root of b square negative 4a is over 2a and then uh, it has to be written as two roots but adding those two roots and taking a uh, reciprocal and uh, taking square of uh, those two roots uh, will be little bit difficult but instead of that uh, we can assume the two roots are alpha beta and then we find sum of the roots alpha plus two beta and product of the roots and then uh, we just uh, write the given information in terms of alpha beta and then we apply the value alpha plus two beta and alpha beta uh, in our equation then we get the answer that is uh, the value of b square over a c plus to b c over s b c over a square ok students uh, for more videos like this please visit uh, www.onlinemathflow.com thank you